And this is up in the air, but over the top of Alan Donald's head. I think initially Donald thought it was coming to him because he heard it that it got on the splice. It made that clunky sound, but such is the swing of Gilchrist's bat and how quick he does it that he's managed to get it away for four. I don't think it came off the middle of the bat. Donald thought it was coming and then had to just retrieve. A yeah, shortish ball, but the angle going across the left-hander. Adam Gilchrist still decides to hit that onto the onside. Gets a fair bit of bat on it. And they had the man there, and he's not going to stop it. Gilchrist knew it was coming. Ashwell Prince is about uh, halfway to the boundary for the one that spooned up. And this one wasn't spooned up. It was hit with great power. Yes, method in the madness, but Adam Gilchrist just absolutely smashed this away in front of square. Ashwell Prince absolutely no chance of cutting that off. Fantastic shot from Adam Gilchrist right out of the meat of the bat. And there he goes. That is a trademark shot. You can't bowl there. And it's gone all the way. Flat, hard, and six. Well, they don't come much better than this as a pull shot. Just slightly short from Andre Nell. Brand new ball, rock hard. Adam Gilchrist just rocks back and hits that right out of the middle of the bat. Short pulled away and there are two men back but it makes no difference wrong tactics as far as I'm concerned not enough pace on Renel to be bothering Ooh. batsmen with short pitch deliveries look how quickly that got to the ground he was right on top of that hit down on it absolutely no problems Punch through the offside. This outfield is very, very fast. Didn't time it to perfection, uh, the left-hander Gilchrist. But it still had enough on it to race away across the ropes. Edged. And it's gone down now. That would have gone just to the left of first slip, but I think Callis dived across. Interesting to see if it carried, but it certainly put off uh, the first slip fielder. Good bowling, just the ball moving across the left-hander. The thickish edge and flies between first and second slip. Callis makes a great effort in the end. And Andre Nell, the disappointed bowler. It's well played in the end. There's no third man. Gilkes will get a boundary. I thought he adjusted well. That one seemed to just uh, be jagging back into the left-hander. Certain amount of risk involved in this shot, but Adam Gilchrist knew what he was doing. Just let the ball come onto him. Didn't try and overplay the shot. Just glided it down into that third man region. He knows he's, uh, it's vacant down there. And he moves on to 39 with that boundary. Yes, and the 350 comes up for Australia. Just out of his reach. Didn't time it very well at all, Adam Gilchrist. Still so get three runs quite comfortably. 50 for Adam Gilchrist. Not his best shot to bring it up with. And he got enough bat on it to get it over Jacques Cullis' head. And in fact, he found the ball wasn't uh, quite there to pull. It came slower than he thought. And that's not a good sign either. A little bit of too paste in the pitch. Just see here that he, uh, he set himself up for the pull shot and then just hit it straight over Callis's head. I don't think Callis was expecting it. Not a lot of bat on it, but enough to get the 50. That's gone behind square and a long way behind square. Those two men out deep again proving 
to be elusive. 385 for five. That's in the air again, but a long, long way in the air. What a way to bring up the 100 partnership, but it was always going to happen. Bowling over the wicket, he's hitting with the spin. There's a little bit of rough outside the off stump, but he's helping it on its way. And Adam Gilchrist, when he really swings out of it, hits the middle of the bat. In fact, Andre now soared off the bat and didn't even bother. He just started looking up into the stand. That's uh, the shot, the slog sweep down on the one knee. No intention of keeping it down. Good shot. Beautifully placed. Well timed. Everything right about that shot. 4-0-4 for 5. Now oh, this is a cracker. There is everything right about that. It is an absolutely perfect cover drive. Well, one bounce over the bowler's head and into the boundary. Well, that's good, Chris, for you. Just got the feeling he's in that frame of mind. Second boundary of the over. Well, that's a sorry sight. The ball looks as though it's ended up in a big pile of water. So I don't know what the uh, official ruling is on this. Uh, I'll get it back to the, the bowl. He won't be happy. Well, you might just see a change of balls. Yes, straight to the umpire. Steve Buckner doesn't waste any time. What a tremendous hit by Gilchrist. Two steps down the track and uh, showing no respect whatsoever for the bowler. Well, a little bit of one-day cricket coming out of Adam Gilchrist at the moment, even though he has got the, the yellow gear on, or coloured gear, down the track and powers that over mid-on. Not far off the boundary rope, just one bounce and uh, over the top. Go for gold. I think uh, that might be something that uh, Adam Gilchrist is thinking about at the moment. An opportunity for a million rand. It's a big prize. Lovely shot. Now this is controlled aggression. Excellent footwork. And just going through with the shot. Didn't try and hit it too hard. This is good batting. Good use of the feet. Got right to the pitch, the ball. There was uh, cries of catch it, but I don't know who was going to catch that. Going up, boys, Way going over up, boys, the top of boys. mid off. Well struck. And uh, another brilliant boundary from Adam Gilchrist. Lucky on that occasion, the ball didn't go back and hit the stumps. This might have been the go for goal shot. But uh, very lucky to survive, just rolled up his arm and almost onto the off stump. Oh, yes. dice, dice. Delicately played yep. for a couple. And he's talking about that going for goal. It's uh, right in his range. He loves to hit over mid wicket, especially the left arm spinners, and this is exactly in that direction. It's a shot that he plays very well, and he can get that distance as well. Once again, inside out, and it's gone all the way. He made that look so easy. Well, Gilchrist is on fire at the moment. 4.24 now for five. This is an incredible shot, hitting against the spin, inside out. Again, over extra cover, and the ball just carries all the way to the boundary and over. This is an absolutely fantastic display of batting from Adam Gilchrist. The South Africans are just scratching their heads. They've got no idea what to do. Oh. 
lovely shot to bring up his half century over pitched hammered through the offside and another half century for Damien Martin so his rich way of form continues if you're putting together a video of how to play the cover drive I suggest you get this on tape foolish delivery just moving away from Damien Martin foot to the pitch of the ball doesn't overplay the shot just beautiful timing and placement so the Australians moving along nicely they resumed at 331 for five so we've had another session of uh, cricket where over a hundred runs have been scored we still have about 12 minutes to go for lunch now fielders are disappearing to all parts of the boundary with Gilchrist on strike 91 not out and he's clubbed that on the onside not a boundary there's deep square leg there's deep mid wicket there's long on Gilchrist still finds the boundary on the onside well there's five men on the boundary and Adam Gilchrist still is able to find it he's absolutely smashed that a bit low for the go for gold shot I'm sure he'll get it in these sights uh, if he brings up his three figures. 96 Gilchrist. And he's played that away on the onside. The timing is good enough for the ball to reach the boundary. It's been a magnificent innings. And in the last one hour, we've seen some scintillating stroke play. Almost as good as it gets. Adam Gilchrist almost overcome with emotion having scored that hundred very appreciative hugs his West Australian and Australian teammate Damien Martin the Australians in the crowd here absolutely ecstatic as are his teammates tour groups from down under you don't see many better innings than that one just compiled from Adam Gilchrist absolutely magnificent fifth test match hundred That's pulled away in tremendous fashion. 100 for Martin. And what a way to get there. The two Western Australians on a roll. There he goes again. And uh, don't worry about that one. It'll just be a maximum six runs. And I'll tell you what, not far from the go for gold sign. 150 to Adam Gilchrist. One of the best knocks you'd ever want to see. A couple of uh, periods of luck, but really, majority of the time of the crease has been absolutely awesome. And he's gone again. Hi, and is it long? Yes, it is. Two on the trot almost for Adam Gilchrist, both in the same direction. He just swept Neil McKenzie away for a six a couple of overs ago, and now Andre Nell suffers the same fate. Almost looked as though it was premeditated that Adam Gilchrist got it onto the back foot very quickly. As soon as he saw it slightly short, just powered it over mid-wicket, and it's gone all the way. Good swing of the bat out of the meat, as usual, and away she flies. And there he goes again. Don't worry about this one. Is it going to get the gold sign? It must have just missed. That is an amazing shot. Anybody who can strike gold at the Wanderers. And Adam Gilchrist was so close. 404.5 ounces of gold. For every batsman who hits the billboard. How close was this? He's hit it too far. And he knows how close it was. 1.4 million rand. And it's high, it's hard, he's looking. Go ball, go ball, he's saying. No, pull back, come back. <laughs> oh, so close to a million rand. Hey, what about half, AB? I reckon it's that close and he gave everybody such a fright that they might just think about giving him half or something anyway. That's gone a long way. 
All those feelers on the boundary, they mattered none. Head of Gilkris certainly takes the bowlers on. There's uh, one, two, three, four men positioned between the backward square leg and long on, on the fence. And he's not bothered about them. He says, uh, if it comes out nearer the meat of the bat, I'll clear them. And he clears them comfortably. His 7-6, and now his 8-6. How close was that to the sign that would have struck gold? For Adam Gilchrist. What an innings this is proving to be. Hitting them too far on this occasion. I'm sure his teammates will tell him that he has to aim a bit better than this. They are going a long way, but going too far. Going over this sign that he's trying to hit. That's a huge block. That really is huge. That's out the stadium. Quite incredible. He's 8 for 6. That's really we can keep up. Nicky Boye, not too <laughs> impressed about that. Adam Gilchrist is on 199. 18 fours, 8 sixes. Callis, the bowler. Short, pulled away. And that's the 200. What an innings. And what a way to get it. All the way to the boundary. Adam Gilchrist, take a bow. Today you've been an absolute star. Absolutely ecstatic. Appreciative teammates and Australian supporters all around the ground have seen one of the great test knocks. He wasn't bothered with just uh, pushing it for one. Got the short ball and hammered it away to the boundary for yet another well struck. Four. And here we go. Fastest double centuries in balls faced. He's beaten a couple of powerful hitters there. Certainly has. Quick single taken. So he still wants every single run going. Looks as though he might just have tweaked a hamstring there. There's the high scores by keepers. 232 by Andy Flower. What a knock that must have been. I was playing in that game when Taslim Arif made 210 not out against us in Faisalabad. Adam Gilchrist will threaten that uh, if they bat for another half an hour or so. How about five or six minutes, A.B.? Well, Brett Lee joins the party as well. And that is the declaration. The Australian flags are flying high. As uh, the Australian captain? No. They've gone back again. They haven't declared. Yes, they have. Communication wasn't great, but eventually Australia have declared. Gilchrist will end up with 204. What a player. Congratulations all round from appreciative South Africans. They know they've witnessed something special here. And then Gilchrist will have to race off and get the pads on to keep. But the support from the Australians has been full on. We've seen something special here at the Wanderers. And the teammates most appreciative as well. Caps all round. Pictures taken. Famous day here at the Wanderers. Gilchrist not out 204. Brilliant performance.